Okay, let's read this statement first. So AWS Direct Connect is a cloud service solution that makes it easy to establish a dedicated network connection from your premises to AWS. That was a lot of words, isn't it? But the most important part here is to consider first is dedicated network connect. The second one is the name itself, which is Direct Connect. And the third one that it is a cloud service solution. So when you combine the first two terms and you think about it collectively, you realize you're talking about something that is a direct connection and a network connection that is for all purposes a dedicated one. So what does it mean? So it means that you will have a secure channel using a dedicated network connection directly pointing to your AWS cloud infrastructure. So if I put this question to you, then how would you imagine it? Yes, you will think of this in a way that which can help you establish a private or dedicated direct connection between AWS and your data centers or your office networks. So unlike site to site VPN that we had discussed previously in the previous episode. So if you haven't watched that, then I would request you to please watch it. So we are not talking about a connection over a public internet space. And you should remember this point very clearly. And the third one is that it is a cloud service solution. When you think about cloud and service and solutions, you should always remember that this is something that AWS will help you with and you don't have to do it yourself as it will provide you with a service that can help you create your own AWS Direct Connect. Don't worry, there are a lot of steps that goes uh, for creating the Direct Connect and we will discuss them in detail moving forward. So now let's read the statement once again. AWS Direct Connect is a cloud service solution that makes it easy to establish a dedicated network connection from your on-premise to AWS. I hope you got a better context to this statement once again, as we have done a small explanation as well. And along with providing a feature set that can help you establish private connectivity between your AWS and your data centers, it also helps you to reduce your network cost. So imagine setting up optical fiber connectivity on your own or creating multiple data centers at various locations. That would be really hard and expensive, isn't it? And it will also help you increase the bandwidth throughput and most importantly, it will provide you more consistent network experience than internet based connections. So as I told you that direct connection provides a dedicated connection from your on premise or data centers to AWS, it basically lets you connect to the AWS direct connect locations. So as you can see here in the image as well. And these dedicated connections can be partitioned into multiple virtual interfaces with the help of industry standard 802.1Q virtual LANs. And we know that virtual LANs are much more efficient compared to LANs as they are very much coupled with their broadcasting domain. And I don't want to confuse you here. So please just remember that using industry standard 802.1Q virtual LAN, the dedicated connections can be partitioned into, into multiple virtual interfaces. And what's the best use of it then? Yes, the multiple virtual interfaces that you have allows you to use the same connection to access both public resources such as S3 or Glacier and as well the private resources such as EC2 running in your private VPCs or the VPC within the private IP block. And yes, this is like one shot and two targets. Cool, isn't it? As you can see here in the visual as well, we have shown how the connectivity is established from the on-premise network to the AWS Direct Connect locations. And there are a lot of locations also to choose from and they should be co-located to yours. So, and you can check the list in the documentation as well. And with the help of the multi-virtual interface, we are able to access both resources as I already told you. So one will be private and the other one will be public. Okay, so I hope you got some idea about this. Let's move on. So as I already told you that we connect our on-premise networks to the AWS Direct Connect locations, it is not that simple. And there are a lot of ground stuff also that goes in this as well. So let's try and understand that. So the main idea of connectivity in Direct Connect is that it links the internal network that you have to an AWS Direct Connect location over a standard Ethernet optical fiber cable. So when I say this, you might jump up to me and ask me that you just told us that we won't do anything. It's AWS who is going to do the things for us. Wait, wait, wait. Just let me finish. Okay. The way the Ethernet optical fiber connection works is that one end of the cable is connected to your router at your location and the other one to an AWS Direct Connect router. And that is how you create the virtual interfaces. 
But before moving forward, we need to understand how it is actually done in the base level itself. So AWS provides us with a separate service altogether to create our AWS Direct Connect. And here we take the decision of what is the Direct Connect location that we are going to use and the connection size that you need. And there are two approaches to create the Direct Connect connection. One is a simple setup and the other one is using the wizard, which gives us more options to customize, which we will check out in the demo as well. So don't worry about that. Then we will create the connection request based on the requirement that we have. And after you have done this, as I already told you, then you will create the connection request based on the requirement that you have. So once you have done this, the second step or the second phase that comes along is the letter of authorization. And what we will do here is we will download the letter of authorization from the console. I know you might be getting confused here, but understand this very carefully. We are trying to set up a secure dedicated connection and not a shared connection. So for that, we need people to set up the connectivity for us from our network to the AWS Direct Connect location. For that, we need the help of AWS Direct Connect partners or AWS APNs, which are nothing but our AWS or Amazon partner networks, now, which is basically your global community of partners who leverage Amazon Web Services to build solutions and services for the customers. At every data center that AWS has or any of the services that they provide, they tie up with companies to provide a solution. For example, in India, we have Tata Communications for AWS Direct Connect and don't get confused with AWS Direct Connect locations and APNs. Okay, they are different. So we need to make use of either AWS Direct Connect partners, that is the hosted connection, or, or you can make use of the APNs, that is the Amazon Partner Network. So once you download the LOA or the letter of authorization, you need to give it to the APN partners, partner network, so they get the approval to create the cross network connection at the AWS Direct Connect location, which is also known as cross connect remember that term very carefully so that is basically called cross connect so once you download the loa or the letter of authorization you need to give it to the partner network so they get the approval to create the cross network connection at the aws direct connect location which is also called as cross connect so moving on once all this is done you can create the virtual interfaces so that you can access your private and public endpoints from the office space as well so this is how the ground reality of the direct connection looks like. I know I might have missed a few things, but I believe this is more than enough. So don't worry about that. So the first step, create the connection request using the AWS management console. Then you download the letter of authorization and pass it on to the Amazon APN or the direct connect partners. And you configure the interfaces, which is basically to create your public and private interfaces so that you can access both the resources. So private and the public one. So I hope you got the point. Let's move on. And now let's jump into some benefits of using Direct Connect. So the first one is reduced bandwidth cost. So with AWS Direct Connect, you can reduce the bandwidth cost with a huge margin because now you don't need to pay the intermediary cost because you have a direct connection to AWS. And then the data transfer rates with Direct Connect are mostly cheaper. So this is a very good thing to have. So the second one is consistent network performance. As we know with Direct Connect, you get the dedicated connection, which reduces the overheads with network lags and propagations. In a way, it provides more stable and consistent network performance. So the third one is private connectivity to multiple VPCs. So this is an interesting point. So we spoke about multiple virtual interfaces, isn't it? So using that, we can also create connections to multiple VPCs as well. Scalability is very important even if you have a dedicated connection. If you want to avoid the low data transfer rates with VPN, you can replace it with your Direct Connect. And Direct Connect provides you with the 1 GPPS and 10 GPPS connections, which are way faster. And yes, you can provision multiple connections as well. And the fifth one is compatibility. So as this is a service provided by AWS, it's compatible with mostly all the AWS services that are over the internet like EC2, S3 and VPC. Let's move on. Okay, so next thing we need to understand is when to use Direct Connect. So the first use case is while working with large data sets. So as we have already discussed with Direct Connect, you get the dedicated connection, which reduces the overheads with network lags and propagations in a way it provides more stable and consistent network performance. So when you're working with a huge data set or huge set of data and you need to transfer them, if you're using an ISP, it is going to be really expensive and constrained as well. But with Direct Connect, 
we can transfer it directly to the premises data centers and with much more faster speeds. So the underlining thing is that you actually bypass your ISP and you get your data transferred. And that is why it is very fast. And second case is real-time data feeds. You know that when it comes to real-time data such as audios or video feeds, latency can act as your biggest enemy or your biggest friend if it depends on what is the rate it is running on. So if it is high, then it is your biggest enemy. If it is low, it can be your biggest friend. And that's what Direct Connect helps us with. As this is a dedicated connection, you can control how the data is being routed. So in this way, you can reduce a lot of latency and make it more consistent. The third one is most obvious one that is a hybrid architecture. With Direct Connect, you can have your own private dedicated connections, which maximizes the benefit of cost and minimizes network overheads, ensuring that you have a secure connectivity from your data centers and AWS cloud.